Over the years, we have seen some pretty crazy Beyblade accessories, from good ones to bad ones to weird ones. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the weirder Hasbro accessories that released quite a while ago, and I'm also kind of surprised they even made it. During the Metal Saga, we saw quite a few pretty cool and also pretty weird accessories released, both by Takara Tomy and Hasbro, with Hasbro doing the weirder ones. We had some good weird ones, like the Rev Up Launcher, which became one of the best accessories. I forgot to breathe. One of the best accessories of all time. We had a grip with a light on it that could point to you where your Beyblade is going to launch. And we had another grip with an angle compass that could tell you what angle your Beyblade was going to launch. But the weirdest Beyblade accessory out of the bunch has to be... Give me your money. Hit that like button. I want a thousand likes. Today. Right now. It was this thing, the B204 Bay Blaster, and they released this a couple of times. The first one was during Metal Fusion, and it was this kind of ugly green color. I don't remember ever seeing it on shelves. The one I do remember was this blue one, and I actually have an unboxing of it from 10, 11 years ago on this channel. I have the Beyblade Metal Masters Bay Blaster here for you guys. And girls. So let's talk about how this launcher actually works. It's kind of similar to that other really terrible launcher I've made a video about called the Precision Strike Launcher, where you just connect the bay to the launcher, wind it up, and then press the trigger to launch it. But this one was cooler because it's a gun. How it works is you pretty much cock the gun like 10, 11 times. I think the maximum before it sounds like it's breaking is 13. Twelve. It's, it's 12. You'd connect your Beyblade to the launcher and then you would just let it rip. Something that's kind of interesting is that they added some sort of mechanism to the launcher to where you couldn't possibly launch like this. You can't point at somebody or at something and launch it. It would just be kind of locked. You'd have to turn it kind of upside down and then it would work. Why they did that, I don't really know. Possibly because they didn't want people launching a Beyblade sideways or pointing it at somebody like give me your money give it those aren't the only features of the bay blaster though on the very back of the gun there's this little holder where you can kind of connect a Beyblade onto uh it's not for storage or anything because it's pretty loose but you could just you know connect a Beyblade while you cock the gun and it works metal fight bays also came with a little tool that you could use to unscrew the face bolt or take off the performance tip and this has a tool built in so that's kind of cool. So this thing is uh, pretty much the ultimate tool that you could bring into a bay battle. It can take apart your Beyblades. I guess it could store an extra one if you're a psychopath. And it looks pretty cool. I mean, if you lose your bay battle, you can just straight up just... Sup. However, just like the Precision Strike Launcher that I mentioned before, this thing is not going to be able to compete with an actual string launcher. And also, it probably won't compete with a Ripcord Launcher either. There's also that, which is kind of annoying. String launchers have pretty much just ran the meta for as long as I can remember. And just to show you a comparison between this launcher and a string launcher, you can just kind of tell that this thing is just not going to be able to compete at all. There might be scenarios where you'd want a light launcher bay, possibly for like stamina, maybe, or something. That'd be the only use for this thing. It also does not work with left spin bays either. But come on, guys. It's a blaster. It looks cool. And you know, I'm a Texas boy. Texas got them open carry laws, you know what I'm saying? So I just carry this thing on a holster. Boom! If you don't actually... Don't actually do that though. The Bay Blaster came out during the height of the Metal Saga 11 years ago and it came out during a period of time that I think was a lot more experimental with their accessories. And don't get me wrong, the Burst Generation definitely had some cool and wackier stuff released earlier on like the knuckle grip and I also think it had its own angle compass. But I guess towards these last few seasons, we've had maybe the Sparking Launcher, which was a season gimmick and like more launcher weight re-releases. Other than that, they 
really hasn't been that much. But that's gonna wrap up this video pretty short. I just wanted to tell you guys about this launcher that I kind of rediscovered while I went through my garage to find some of the old Beyblade stuff that I have. I've been in a big nostalgia craze lately. And a lot of you guys maybe were not Beyblade fans whenever this came out. So uh, I guess maybe if you can like modify this to work with Burst, it could actually be kind of cool. So I don't know. Get it, get it on eBay or something. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching my last videos as well. I have a lot more of this nostalgic stuff coming up pretty soon. Hit the like button down below. We're going to try and hit 1,000 likes on this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have fun and bay away. Hit that like button. I want a thousand likes today, right now. Hit the button.